we can use these concepts of similar figures out in the real world in order to measure things that are not easy to measure. So one of the ways that we incorporate this into the real world is using a shadow to calculate the height of something that is really too tall to realistically measure. So we can use comparisons of known items. So in this image, we see that there is a girl and she knows her height, she's five foot. And her shadow measures four feet. So at the same time of day, we can measure the shadow of this totem pole and use that to set up as a set up a proportion to find how tall it would be. Now this would only work if we measured at the exact same time of day so that the shadows don't change because that would change our measurements. All right, so we can compare this two different ways. We can compare height to shadow and height to shadow, each image, its own ratio, or we can take the heights and compare that to shadows. Either way will get you the correct answer. Um, the most common way you'll see it used is this, height to shadow, height to shadow. So let's go with that. We have the girl is five feet tall, her shadow four feet long. We don't know the height of the totem pole, but we measured its shadow to be 16 feet long. We can cross multiply and divide, or if you see an easy side to side scale factor, and in this one's case, we can tell that this was increased by a factor of four so its scale factor is four and it's enlarged times four. So we can use that scale factor to increase the top value as well, times four. So five times four gave us a height of 20. You would only use this format if you can eyeball and see really quickly what that scale factor is going to be. If it is not an a quick recognition, then you're going to want to go ahead and do your cross products. 